what is a depth map and how can I create one quickly in Photoshop? We can do that by using a neural filter. Select Filter, Neural Filters, and then Depth Map. Inside Neural Filters, select Depth Blur. The first time you use this, you may need to download it. We're not going to use the actual Depth Blur filter. Scroll down to the bottom and select Output Depth Map Only. What we're seeing here is a representation of the perceived depth in the image. Things that are darker are closer, and things that are lighter are farther away. Select Output to New Layer, and then click OK. We now have a depth map in Photoshop, but how can we use this depth map inside Photoshop? In order to do that, we need to make a selection. Go to Channels. We can see all of the channels. Hold Ctrl or Command and click on the icon of one of the channels. They're all the same. It doesn't matter. Then select Adjustment Layer. This will create a new channel called Alpha 1. We can select this and call it Depth Map. This way, in case we accidentally delete it, it'll always be there. Click on Layers and then turn off the eyeball for the Depth Map. Select your background and now we can add adjustment layers. The first adjustment layer will be Curves. And since this is affecting the white pixels, and if you look at this icon, the white pixels are in the background, we can label this one, right click to duplicate the layer, and label it close depth. If I look at these two layers, both masks are exactly the same. So select the close depth mask, and then press Ctrl or Command I. Now it is flipped. Remember, on an adjustment layer mask, the white pixels are affected. So the far depth, the white pixels are in the background. In the close step, the white pixels are in the foreground. Let's select the far depth, select the curves adjustment, and then lower the contrast. We can do that by sliding the curve bars over. It's crushing all the values together. We could even lighten it up a bit if we wanted it to be a little bit lighter. Then select close step, and we can increase the contrast because things closer have more contrast. To see what's happened, hold Alt or Option and click the eyeball of the original layer. You can see how we have already created lots of atmospheric depth. We can continue to use these adjustment layer masks for further adjustments. Just select the one that you want, hold Ctrl or Command and click on the icon. It will make an alpha selection of that. Create a new adjustment layer, such as Hue Saturation. Label it whatever one it is, but this is far here. Then I can lower the saturation of the far depth. I can duplicate this layer and call it close hue. Remember now I need to invert it by pressing Command I. And then I can increase the saturation for the close one. Once again, if I hold Alt or Option on the original, and then my current one, I can continue to see what is happening. Hopefully this allows you to add a depth map to your image in Photoshop and then use layer masks to make adjustments to the things that are close and the things that are far away.